Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm Will Gerling, I'm a sports and performance nutritionist and today we're going to be talking about alcohol and its effect on the body, its effect on recovery, its effect on you during lockdown and whether you should be drinking, shouldn't be drinking and a whole host of information for you. I'm going to break down today's video into several different parts to looking at injury and recovery, looking at just when you're training and then just general health. So let's go with injury and recovery. Our first study, Jung et al. Now, if you have an injury, if you have trauma, if you have a recovery process currently going on, possibly alcohol isn't the thing for you. There is a great paper by a guy called Jung et al. 2011 that looked at trauma and recovery and moderate to high especially regular high intakes of alcohol sees a down regulation in muscle protein synthesis it sees an increase in atrophy it sees poor bone formation so if you have a fracture and you're drinking more to the excessive side you're going to see poor bone formation it's not going to join together the same so it's not going to heal the same which is crazy so if you have an injury probably isn't the best thing and this is further increased by information by a guy called Vargas et al 2008 and they saw they looked at immobilization it was in rodents but there's a huge carryover that they've then seen into humans and that is if you have an immobilized area of muscle mass even if you're bed bound or if you're completely sedentary over a period of five days with excessive alcohol intake they saw an increase in muscle atrophy and then over that five day period when you did come to exercising afterwards that they saw a decrease in muscle protein synthesis response and a decrease in muscle hypertrophy gains, which ultimately means that if you are being incredibly sedentary during lockdown or from an injury and you are drinking, that then when you come back to exercising, you're not gonna be able to gain as much as quickly. In this next paper, we're gonna talk about the acute response to exercise and alcohol. Because obviously many of you out there are gonna be exercising and you're gonna be doing your bike rides or your at-home workouts or anything like this. Uh, you're trying to get fit, you're trying to keep fit and you're drinking your alcohol possibly also. And it may be an excess. I know lots of you are on a house party and Zoom or whatever, having your Friday night drinks after you've done a good workout or something like this. But let's have a little look at what that might do. Ha et al. 2014 took eight individuals. They performed a weight training session and a cardio training session. So it was concurrent training. They then had post-workout protein and alcohol in that post-workout period, or had an alcohol-free option, which is a placebo um, and, and protein. So protein is obviously stimulating muscle protein synthesis but in combination with alcohol. And what we saw was a decrease in muscle protein synthesis. So that's a reduction in recovery, a reduction in adaption, and a reduction in hypertrophy. So you're not getting as fit as quickly, you're not building that lean muscle mass, and you're not recovering as much. We also have the Canadian Dietitian Position Stand paper from 2016 and that looks over different areas as well and we see if you're chasing body composition based goals that when you drink your, inhibition, your inhibitions are reduced. You see an increase in ghrelin which is an appetite hormone which makes you feel more hungry so you're less likely to stick to a diet or macro based diet or targets anything like this and you're going to be like i'm going to have that bit of cake i'm going to have another drink <laughs> and you're going to find it a lot harder to stick to your own body composition based plan or diet plan anything like this and you're probably going to see an increase in calorie consumption and in turn a potential increase in your body composition 
The alcohol also suppresses lipid oxidation, so you're not going to be burning as much fat, especially at rest, which is a lower heart rate. So but conversely to all this, there is research out there that shows alcohol is good for you. Like, if we look at the blue zones of the world, blue zones are the areas of the world with the largest life or the highest life expectancy. And one common correlation between all of them is that they all regularly drink alcohol. But this also comes with other factors that that drinking is done socially. It comes with also the effects of being surrounded by people, having a laugh, enjoying yourself, being sociable and not being alone and being depressed or anything like this. So it has connotations with it. Physicians still do not promote alcohol consumption, but it does seem to have its place. And there definitely seems to be some relationship with a moderate intake and health. We also have a paper by Wilson et al, 2010, which looked over the health benefits of alcohol. And they looked over, you know, these things like phytochemicals and polyphenols and the tannins uh, and the catechins that we get from like alcohol and in particular red wine. If you're drinking red wine and you're getting your, your phytochemicals and that's your reason for drinking it, it's a bit of a poor one because you get more from just drinking like a vegetable juice or a smoothie or something like this. Like if you're drinking alcohol, <laughs> chasing it for, for these particular things, you're probably going about it a little bit wrong. Nonetheless, there does seem to be some relationship with having a moderate alcohol intake, which is for a man, two drinks or a female, one drink a day, a typical glass of wine or beer, um, seems to see, see a reduction in coronary heart disease, but that is correlative and observational research, which is at the, the lowest end of research quality. They seem to attribute it to an increase in HDL levels or high density lipoproteins and a reduction in low density lipoproteins, LDL, which is your bad cholesterol. Uh, but there are other ways to also achieve that through things like omega-3 fats, healthier options of food and so on. So uh, once again, I wouldn't be having alcohol specifically for that reason. But over a week, a general moderate intake a few times a week does seem to be beneficial for longevity, for health, especially in older individuals rather than younger individuals. I'm going to round this all up and summarize it for you, but ultimately we're seeing that if you are super sedentary, inactive, injured, have trauma, anything like this, regular high consumption of alcohol is not for you. And it's not gonna improve your recovery, it's not gonna improve your ability to perform after that as well. And you're gonna see an increase in muscle atrophy. If you are an exercising individual and you're taking alcohol in the near post-workout period you are so if you trained in the evening and then had an evening glass of wine you're going to reduce your ability to adapt to that exercise and your gains from it and we all love gains but we can say that regular alcohol consumption of a moderate intake so two to one uh, for male and female respectively can see a positive effect on our body if we are being active combining that with a very healthy diet and not taking it to excess, not doing silly things whilst under the influence, etc., etc., which most mortality rates come from poor decision making and so on. And also, if we're chasing a body composition goal, we're counting our calories and macros of alcohol, that if you are drinking, you're going to see an increase in appetite, you're going to feel hungrier, the likelihood of you not remembering those few bits of Haribo, that bit of chocolate that you had, etc., whilst having a few drinks is also going to be increased and affect your body composition goals. And that's all the information I have to give you about different aspects of alcohol whilst in lockdown, its effect on you and its effect on body composition, recovery, in relation to trauma and just general health. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you're drinking, if you are drinking, and I'll see you next time. Gotta move those, 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 gotta move those.